In this lecture, we will review some of the most common formulas in Microsoft Excel and how to write them. We will play with our sample data in column C. Equals. When we begin writing a formula, we first have to let Excel know. The most common way to begin a formula is with an equal sign. In our first example, we want our formula to produce the data in the cell C12. We type equals, then click C12, then hit enter. And we see we have four. The plus sign. Next, we will look at the addition formula. Let's say we want to add C12 and C13. We simply start with an equal sign, click C12, plus C13, and hit enter. Easy. But let's say we wanted to add a larger range of cells. This is where the sum formula comes in. First, we type equals and the word sum. Then an open parenthesis. From here, we select the cells that we would like to sum together. We can click each cell individually with commas in between, like so. Click and then type a comma and then hit enter and our result is 102. Or we can sum them all together by clicking the first cell holding the mouse down and dragging the cursor where we want, and then unclicking. You'll see we've now selected the whole range. If we hit enter, we get the same result. We could also click the first cell, hold shift, then click the last cell with the same result. Each method works, but you should always try to find the fastest way to do things. Product. So the product formula will allow us to multiply as many cells as we would like together. We can select individual cells and ranges in the exact same, same way as the sum formula. Let's begin by typing equals, then product, open parenthesis. I'll just select the full range. And we don't ever actually have to type the last parenthesis. We can just hit enter and Excel will finish the formula for us. And we get a very large number here. The count formula will simply count in binary any cell that has a number in it. So we first type count and we wanna know how many cells are in this range with numbers in them. So if we hit enter, we'll see there are seven cells that contain numbers. Min. Min will produce the lowest number in a range that we select. Let's say we want to look at C16 to C18. And here I typed the cells myself. You'll see we get 8 because 8 is the lowest number in the range. Max does the exact opposite of min. Let's write the same formula and examine the result. Now that you know many of the basic formulas in Excel, let's learn about some of the powerful formatting features.